The Wycliffe Six by James Stack. It is the spring of 1972 when sex, drugs, and rock and roll are pursued instead of reading, writing, or arithmetic. Having grown up in a broken home with an abusive brother, Luke believes he's found a family with five sophomores he shares a suite in Wycliffe Hall on the campus of St. James College in South Carolina. Because of a leaky water fountain, the college's maintenance department discovers nearly a pound of marijuana in the common area of Luke's shared suite. The future of the six suite mates hangs in the balance. Luke asks these faithful friends to agree to testify they know nothing about the marijuana. The drugs could belong to any of them. The college's administration puts the boys on trial for possession. Some of the college administrators believe the marijuana be belongs to the one black student in the suite, demonstrating varying degrees of prejudice. The college's president is in negotiations with a larger and more prestigious university. He doesn't want the knowledge of drugs found during his watch to become public until these negotiations are finalized. Calling themselves the Wycliffe Six, the students struggle to determine who the drugs actually belong. As the tension within the suite mounts, so do the individual conflicts between the boys. Because of the threat of expulsion and being drafted into the Vietnam War, the boys' loyalties begin to unravel. Luke is concerned, especially once he knows who owned the marijuana. During the trial, four boys testify as agreed. One takes the fifth. It's the black student who slips and admits to knowing what marijuana looks like. His testimony escalates. The administrators feel confirmed in their bigoted belief. However, they are conflicted as to a verdict where only the black student is guilty. After intense discussions, they find all six boys guilty. They hope at least one of the boys will come clean. The breaking point has arrived. Four of the boys agree to betray Hugo, Luke's roommate. Luke is devastated when he's told. Hugo lands a mighty blow when he asks Luke to share in the blame. Luke realizes Hugo has been using him all along. He explains to Hugo what loyalty means. The president is offered the other presidency. Hugo's influential lawyer father gets him off on technicalities. Luke feels friendless until the other four boys rally around him. Luke has learned friendship has a price.